getting spicy out there. We gonna get straight into it, man. The boy Chris Smooth says, which play gave me the steal? The left play, he goes behind the back, left hand to right hand. The right hand, he crosses over uh, from the left to the right hand. It's not a smooth move. Let's talk about this perfect steal system that doesn't need to be changed. Vote here. That's, that's smooth right there, man. And then here we go and says, which play gave me the steal? Wait till I post. A lot of people say the left one. I'm gonna tell you straight up that the left one gave him the gave him the steal because it's, it's more than two people in the in the area, bro. Like I know how this game goes by now. We might not like it, but we know how it goes. It's more than one person in the area. You're gonna get the steal. That's just how it goes, man. So you know it is what it is. But one thing you don't have to steal is you don't have to steal a like or anything like that, man. Look, make sure y'all like the video and comment down below. Uh, comment steal down below and you'll be entered in two contests. You're going to be entered in a contest to win $50 in either cash out or um or VC today, which is Friday. We're going to do that drawing either today or probably on stream. Next time I'm on stream, we'll do that drawing. And you'll be entered at the end of the month to win a next gen console. So look, all we got to do is average 10K views. Y'all slacking on that video last night. Y'all better go go over there and watch that video and like that thing up so we can get up and get to that goal, man, because I, like I said, y'all slacking a little bit. But hey, with all that being said, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Look, man, these dudes is really crying about these steals, bro. And like I said, it, it really don't make me no difference uh, which way they go because I'm going to let y'all in on the secret. I had a higher win percentage before I put steals on my bill than I did after. It could be because everybody was uh was putting theirs up first. I literally put my steal up last, and I was just playing good defense, staying in front of people, and all that good stuff. Now, I will tell you this. The game has changed dramatically. The people are aware of a lot of other things. They, they know how to left right now. They figured out how to dribble without using adrenaline. We figured out that fades are completely broken in OP. We figured out that the rim run is at an all-time high. We figured out that offense has every single, every single advantage. And the only defense we got, look at that, Brute get dunked on in good position. And the only defense that we got is a little bit of steals. And we can't even have that. They got every advantage. I mean, literally break your ankle if you know what you're doing, can fade, shoot threes, no problem at all. But you get a steal every now and then. You get a steal 10% of the time or or maybe 30% of the time when they make a mistake and don't know what they're doing. And we can't even have that. So look, we can't even get bailed out. Like we don't get bailed out no other way. And we can't even get bailed out when they make a mistake. Jesus Christ, bro. Hey, that's how it is, man. That's how we wanted to go. But like I said, with that one on, with, with the one with Chris Smooth we're talking about, I really don't understand because because the one yesterday he's talking about, one day he's saying you get too many steals. Then the next day he's saying everybody gets steals but me. So it's like, I, I don't know what side you're on, big dog. But hey, I understand what you're saying. Now, I, I feel like you're, you're being a little bit obtuse here when you say, let's talk about this perfect steal, this perfect steal system that doesn't need to be changed. We can't base it off of your experience, baby. We got to base it off everybody. But saying a perfect steal, it's like you, you, you're being obtuse at that point. There's no point. It's, that's, that's, that's never a reason to do that. Let's talk about this perfect system that doesn't need to be changed like bro nothing in this world is perfect there's nothing that's perfect so if if nothing is perfect that means everything needs to be changed but I, I don't i don't understand it like we know that there's nothing perfect but this is the only game we got and this is as good as it's been in quite some time and i'm not saying it's because of the steals because there are a lot of other barriers that are there and a lot of things that do make this game so good but i do know this if they take away the steals We've already seen what happens before. I would just like to go down this road and see what happens. If you're calling for a revamp to the steel system and saying you want them to make sense, make more sense, I'm completely with it. But a lot of people are not sharing your opinion. They just really saying, look, I don't want people, I don't want to get ripped by somebody who I deem to be not as good a player as me. That's what most people are saying. And then, you know, it is what it is, man. Hey, the boy Chop chimed in on that one and he said, they crucified me for staying, saying steals need to be toned down. Hopefully they listen to you. And then the boy LD2K, this is what really broke my heart when he says, I spoke to Mike about steals recently. They're looking into them. I've given my feedback and notes. They're looking at external feedback too. But the thing is like, I understand like, cause look, look bro, let's be real. When you get ripped, right? When anybody gets ripped, you're saying, damn man, he got me. Damn, you know what I'm saying? This this dude got me, blah, 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 blah. Cause it make you look like a bitch. It really does. 
when the, the animations that the, the way that it expresses i talk about it all the time what happens in the game is what's supposed to happen according to the numbers but how the game has to express it we may not necessarily agree with that a lot of the times and that is true because sometimes like right there on this steel bro i've already pressed the button Let, let's look at this steel Let, let's just look at this this dude probably mad at this steel right bro you you don't have anywhere to go you're dribbling directly into me i cut it's two people in the area like i said i've cut you off bro you you what, what you gonna do like i don't get it and he probably get mad at that but see, and that's my first time, and I'm going to get on that real gem stars. We on that rim, baby. But like I said, bro, I just hit the button one time, and we played that entire game. I think I got one steal this game. I hit the button once, and they will get mad at that and cite that as, as one of the ones where the steals are OP. When the dude is dribbling directly into my chest, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. But hey, look, another thing is somebody else chimed in. I, I don't know. I forgot what his name is. We're going we gonna to go up a little bit. NBA 2KW says the problem is when 2K, the problem is when, when has 2K not gone overboard when patching gameplay? We, we we talking about arcade park, but a nerf will be will have a negative effect for program yep, for pro am. ISO guards can just uh can just dribble spam like I mean in, in 2K23. Uh, ISO guards can just dribble spam like they're used to. So the team ball uh so team ball finally matters. A lot of YouTubers can't hoop. I, I don't know what he's trying to say right there, but I tried to read it the best I could. But I get what he's trying to say. He's just saying, look, look, team ball finally matters, and a lot of y'all can't cope, and y'all don't want to deal with it. You built up a lot of bad habits over the years. Why can't it just be there? I'm used to dribbling in somebody's face. And, and not maintaining space or what have you, you know what I'm saying? And, and making sure that he can't get this when I'm dribbling here. I'm, I'm used to not having to protect the ball and all of that. And now in this game, I have to, and I don't like it. I, I get it though, man. Like I said, everybody want the game to be how they want it to be, but there's a lot of people. I hope that the vocal, it's the vocal minority that's talking about it. I hope that the majority of people, because it seems like the majority of people want to just leave it how it is because they're okay with it and they can deal with it, but it's just the, the vocal minority that's saying, you know, this and that. But there also there is an argument to be had. I'm not saying that there's no argument to be had, but you know it is what it is. Speaking of the argument, that boy Chris Tree said once and for all us deals broken in NBA 2K23. Yes or no. I will not state my opinion. Just want to hear everyone's. And we just gonna go down the list. Hey, the boy Extra Net says, unpluckable and chase down these buffs. That's my answer. But if you're gonna do that and you're gonna tone down steals, you have to absolutely buff clamps. Clamps. Clamps damn near don't work at all the way that it used to. And I'm okay with that. You see how we adapted? You see how this game clamps doesn't work the same? It's different. You have to trigger it a different type of way and you have to use it a different type of way. But instead of me saying, yo, Mike was in the stream and I was like, you know what? Maybe we should get more stone ball animations. And then I said, then Brute was like, nah, you got to learn how to use the bats. Okay, cool. Challenge accepted. Then I go learn how to use the badge, and I'm like, yeah, clamps ain't really broken. I wish it would pop more when they dribble straight into my chest, but clamps is really to keep people from turning the corner this year. It's not really to keep to, to just deny a straight up a, a straight up dribble anymore. That's just how it is. But like I said, so you can't do that without buffing clamps. You buff unpluckable, you gotta buff clamps too, man. And then we'll see how that goes. Uh hey, uh Jordan says, just doesn't seem right that a point guard needs to spend five to seven bash points just to maybe stop someone from pressing the square to receive the ball, I mean, to receive the ball when you have a 94 ball handle. Every other badge in the game increases success rate with positive things. Unpluckable just limits a negative. I mean, but you still gotta, don't we gotta put points? You gotta put, you gotta get the 99 steal and then you gotta put eight points into, into a uh, glove. So I don't even understand what you're saying, because I'm going to tell you what, you damn near ain't going to get no steals if you don't got glove on. It don't matter how high you got it up. You damn near won't get no steals if you don't got them. I ain't going to lie, though. I was getting steals with a uh, 40, so maybe I'm the goddamn greatest. I had a 43 steal, and I was getting them, so I don't know, man. Maybe maybe y'all all right. Who knows, bro? It was when people, when people was making stupid decisions and mistakes, but, hey, it is what it is. Hey, one dude says, if I'm spending eight points, there, here we go. That was just what I'm talking about. If I'm spending eight points to get Hall of Fame glove with the 99 steal to counter that, why wouldn't you have and uh, why wouldn't you have to have all Hall of Fame unpluckable? I've 1v1 my boy 
with the uh, 95 ball handling Hall of Fame glove, and I couldn't steal the ball at all. And the boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, and Mac, they went in there and confirmed that. Bro, you get if you get your unpluckable high enough and you in protect the ball, you literally cannot steal the ball. You just gonna foul, but hey, we gonna keep on moving. But unpluckable only grants you the ability, uh, the ability to somewhat limit another player's single badge at the same cost of badge points. Yes, but I can't even steal the, so what? what? Unpluckable's a single, I don't get what he's trying to say, bro. Unpluckable's a single badge, and the uh, glove is a single badge, and I can only steal the ball at a 10% clip or so, unless you make an egregious mistake, or unless you have, unless you got a 50 or so dribbling or a 70 dribbling, in which case, you shouldn't even be trying to have, be the primary ball handler. You should get the ball stolen, in my opinion. That's just me. I ain't saying I'm gonna get the rip every time, but like, look, that's a that's a bad pass. And some people say the pass is stay lane still. Watch these people that are saying, watch what they're doing when they say it, bro, because they'll say something and then you won't even, you won't understand it, but you'll hear it and you'll be like this and that. Cause I was looking at the Chris Moon video and he's like, we got the playmate tape. I went back and looked at the video, but ain't nobody out there had no playmate tape. Nobody had it. Everybody had on the bullseyes and shot creating and locks. I ain't seen no playmate take out there. I could have been wrong, but y'all, but it's like I said, so people will say stuff and you'll, and you'll, you, if you take it at face value, you, you'll you believe it or whatever. But you know, like I said, do your own research, man. And he said, but um, okay, so next then we got, we got uh Ginger, he says, for only for for other people I play against, it works. For me, it never works. I get a foul every time I hit the square button. Even with the 99 steal, I'ma just keep playing the game though. And that's how a lot of people feel. Like a lot of people are not getting a lot of steals. I was watching my dog Quavo play today, and he got locks on his team. The other team locks. They were getting steals, and he like, bro, why my locks ain't getting no steals? Like, come on, man, they getting on ball steals on us and, and picks out the air and stuff like that. Why can't we get some of this? Why for we can't get, and, and that's what I'm saying. It's different. It ain't happening to everybody, and it's not happening to every play. I don't even know that it's happening enough for us to be like it's a real issue. It is annoying, I can agree with that, but bro, you see these dudes out here reaching on, they can't get the ball. Look, he just reached right there, he didn't get it. You know what I'm saying? He reached again, he didn't get it. This guy right here, you got Trump out there playing. Like, come on, man. It is what it is, man. Some at some point, we're gonna have to be uh we're gonna have to be accountable for our actions. That boy Yan Mind says 99 still. This is a point of view that he had that he this is not his point of view, but this is the point of view that a lot of people have, and I definitely do not agree with it. Um, so he's saying 99 still equals everything below 99 ball handle. The same logic would mean 99 three-pointers equal make every shot. Uh, open and contested. Hey, we had that last year in the game. We almost had that last year in the game. I ain't gonna lie. And then RNG, RNG steals take no skill, just like RNG contact dunks in 2K21. And you can add 22 and 23 and RNG, all that stuff. It, yeah, it don't take no skill. Bump steals are the real, are the real skill. I tell you this, I do agree with that. I don't. I, I just hate when anybody says it. And like I said, he's not saying it, but other people always think that I got 99 steel. I should be able to get it. Nah, I don't think that. It's a difference of percentages. But I do believe that. If you make a mistake and I got a 99 steal, I should be able to punish you. I shouldn't, like, if you really want to ask me, I don't think unpluckable should be taken out of the game and gloves should be taken out of the game. And it just come down to your positioning and what you're doing and you got nothing to help you out and none of that stuff. You make a mistake, I'm, you, I'm taking the ball. But conversely, if you reach, I teach, I'm going by you. And that's how it is. If you do a bad reach, look at that. That's, I didn't get that steal, but Gamma got it. Look. I didn't get the steal, but Gambit got the steal. And let me show y'all what happened right here. We just gonna stop it. Like, like, look, look, I'm here. I'm on, uh, uh, I'm on the wrong screen too. Hold on. All right, look, I'm here. I wish I had my pad out, but I don't got my pad. But look, I'm here. I'm on the ball. I'm gonna start watching these videos with the pad too. I'm on the ball. I reach. I didn't get the steal. I don't get it. I should have. By all, my, by all rights, I got gold glove. We don't know what he got, but I, I reach. I should have got the steal, right? I didn't get the steal. So boom, he comes up court, and then he continues to dribble right in the gambit. Boom, give me the steal. Like, I don't get, like he should have passed the ball because if he actually looks up the court, boom, he got a he got a clean cut to the rim. So I don't I don't know, man. I'm gonna start using that in all the videos. But yeah, I agree with you, y'all, man. That logic that people be trying to use with that, I don't get down with that. I don't like it. I don't think that I should get every steal just because I got 99 steel, but if you make a mistake or if you make an especially an egregious mistake, 
I think I should be able to get the steal, man. Like, you know, that's all I'm saying. And I know, and we know what happened last year. And like I said, here we go. Um, here we go with my guy, my guy, uh, error, error bot. He says, some people need to learn to adapt and overcome. It's 2K23 and they're still holding on to 2K16. <laughs> Let it go. They gave us a new build system that the community cried about, uh, cried for. Um, everyone, I mean, everybody to make this, I mean, just for everybody to make the same bill. Run the run the same lineup and play the same way. He absolutely right. That boy Irv Gotti said, we all know how this turned out last year. Left, right, tees went crazy. Please don't make the same mistake. And he's just talking about a tweet that Mike had a couple weeks ago. I mean, it had last year about this time. He said, one new, you know, one new gen patch bullet, uh, you know, reduced the effectiveness of on ball steals. We know where that took us. And then uh, my boy Black Cobra says, no. No, because you still you still do it without using adrenaline boost. I guess you're talking about you still do the left right thing without losing. I think we should have go we should have gone here. Here we go. Uh, this was over your bat, man. He said people try to left right cheese now uh, with some success, and I mean it's here and there. Imagine if the steals get patched. Also, it actually feels rewarding to play on ball defense now. If it gets patched all the all of that goes out the door and you're right and then we got last but not least we got black cobra say no because no because you still do it without using adrenaline blues not to mention that the steel success rate dramatically drops off around gold or hall of fame unpuckable even if you have even if you got gold glove that's like 16 to 10 percent success a nerf will completely knock it out to two and he's absolutely right man it is what it is bro like i said if y'all don't want steals in the game just say we don't want steals in the game i never want to get the ball stole and uh you know like i, I, I if you can but you have to also tell me that you never make mistakes and we know that you make a mistake so why can't you get punished sometimes here and there for making a mistake that's all i'm saying i'm gonna stand on my soapbox this year i ain't gonna let y'all sit here and ruin the game for the whole community obviously we got most people they are cool with it they figured out how to play the game and then we got a very vocal minority that's just that just harping on it harping on it harping on it i really don't care what they do i told y'all y'all wasn't gonna like it when they changed the shot y'all sat there and about it when they changed it but y'all called for it and now you're shooting 20 percent. i told you, you you weren't really that guy that i'm that guy i'm still gonna shoot in the 60s or whatever but you're not that guy then y'all said you know we talked about the blocks and stuff now y'all you, you get blocked too many times on the back scratches and stuff now what happens now you get now you can't get the blocks or whatever no more people quit dropping your soul away and you can't get a chase down and all that now we want to buff chase down nobody talking about buffing clamps nobody's talking about the phase nobody's talking about the fact that it's incredibly difficult to just get a bump on somebody and stop people and stuff like that nobody's talking about the steals that don't happen we just we just talk about the 10 percent of the time that the steals do happen all i'm gonna tell you is man you're gonna have to adapt and overcome if they change it they change it, it is what it is i'll adapt and overcome but i promise you it don't bother me because i put this the, the absolute last stat that i put up on my guy was steal and I was, we was winning without it. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think now in the comment section, man. Uh, is everybody just crying or do they really need to change it? Am I saying that they don't need to do something at all? No, I think something needs to happen, but what can they possibly do? And the way that they change it, you might just not like it. Anyway, like the video, uh, comment down below for your chance to win a next gen console and $50 on tomorrow. And I'm hollering at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Gotta speak, gotta speak.